So welcome back to the channel. In previous video we learned how to create the glass dispersion shader in Blender. In this video, I'm going to show you how to group the shader nodes. First of all, select all the nodes and press Ctrl plus G. So we are inside the group node. This is the group input node, which we can connect to the shader nodes. How let's see. So this is our value node. Connect all three outputs of value node to group input. And then delete the value node. We can control the values from outside of the group. In the side panel, click on group. If side panel is not shown, press N key. We can rename the group output from here. So here is our shader group. We can control all the shader nodes values from here. Select the second value node and connect with the group input as shown. We can rename the second slot to IOR. Delete the second value node. Connect the third slot of group input and connect to all the roughness input in the group. So here is our roughness controller. Press tab to enter in the group. So this is our color controller of the glass. Connect the fourth slot of the group input to the color of mix RGB node. And then connect the color of the glossy BSDF to same slot. For some imperfection in glass, connect all the normal input to the fifth slot of the group input. From here you can change the color of glass. You can use this material as asset for using this material in different scenes.
Here is my lighting setup for rendering. I'm using two ellipse area lights. In 45 degree angle and minus 45 degree angle. Change the values of intensity according to you. For interesting look let's create some more geometry. Let's create a UV sphere. Scale the sphere by pressing S key. Let's create the material for sphere. Create new material and delete the principal BSDF. Press Shift plus A. And search for Fresnel node. Create the color ramp node and emission node. Connect this nodes as shown. So here is our effect. Let's tweak this. Adjust the strengths of emission. So here is our final output. I hope you like it. If you want more content like this let me know in the comments. And like this video and subscribe the channel so you never miss a video when I upload some amazing tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.